Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Hard Motorworks. Today I'm here to show you something I've been developing and prototyping, which is a BMW M20 based root supercharger kit. This kit uses the variant of the Eaton M90 found in Holden Commodores here in Australia, which is a great addition to the M20 engine. This kit has been developed for the E30 chassis, but will most likely be able to use for larger chassis that use the M20 engine. In this video, I'm going to run through what we've done to achieve this by showing the overview of the kit installed in, in my E30 Touring. After that, I'll run through a quick overview of my computer of the cab components, and hopefully after that we can get a little video showing this car running. So, let's get into how we've developed this kit and show what this supercharger looks like in the engine bay. Okay, so here we have the supercharger overview of it installed in my engine bay. I'll just briefly go over a couple things before we dive into the specifics of each item. Uh, I just want to uh, let everyone know to keep in mind that this is still a prototype stage. It is running and working, but it is a prototype stage. There are some things still to be figured out which I'll go over. So, the basics of it are, just really quickly, uh, I've relocated the throttle body from its original position here to more so down near the ABS unit, if you have it. Uh, this is due to the supercharger being present and having to be moved. You can't have the throttle body after the supercharger, that's not how the uh, positive displacement works. Um, we've got our, we've got the brake booster retains its original position, which is, I wanted, which is what I wanted to focus on, and so does the radiator. Um, it's a very tight fit, but I'll go through specifics now of each of the items that we've, we've achieved. So to cover the areas that we've uh, had to change to accommodate this kit, firstly we've got the throttle body relocation. From this original position here, we've moved it to this position down here. Uh, it retains the original throttle body off of the car, the 2.5 litre car, with room to uh, expand to a bigger throttle body if needed. There's plenty of space there. Um, we've also retained the uh, original ICV, which again, you don't have to retain that if you don't want to, you can use some other type of idle control, but I've just kept this here. Um, and also, we've got just I've just got a 3D printed prototype um, throttle body holder there. Uh, this obviously won't be 3D printed in the, in the, in the product, but it's just there for, for prototyping. Um, and with this as well, we've got an uh, extended throttle body cable which just runs the length of the back of the car, which is pretty standard. Also with this kit, we've had to incorporate a tensioner into the uh, supercharger, so if you zoom down in here, we've got a tensioner from a LS1 engine, they're found in Commodores here in Australia, and in the States you've got the uh, Chevys. So low cost item, very good, six rib capable, um, and that's how we handle the belt tension on the supercharger. And of course, the supercharger itself, tucked away very nicely in there, um, very tight fit, but everything does fit. Uh, the Output charge is actually routed behind the supercharger from a, a, a base plate. Comes back around here and up into my water air intercooler, which I've set that up for just space reasons, but of course you can run air to air intercooling. Um, again, this is a prototype kit, so this will probably move uh, closer towards the engine for the output. It'll come out a bit closer near the oil, just stick there. And that's the uh, supercharger. With this kit, we've also had to relocate the alternator as it originally lived where the supercharger is now, so it needs a new home. Uh, we've moved it to where the um, air conditioning unit was. Uh, we do have plans to incorporate air conditioning in the future, but at the moment it's just uh, placed by the supercharger. Um, and bear in mind also, this kit does allow the use of power steering, which is uh, incorporated into our custom pulley, which we'll show in just a second. Okay, so we're on my computer now, and we'll view the CAD designs of this kit. Um, keep it very basic. So we've got this big uh, base plate here that attaches to the um, left engine mount on top of it. This is what holds the majority of the supercharger. On the rear of that, you've got a um, plate that reinforces the base plate near the top of it. So this bolt here would actually bolt through into the engine where the um, wiring harness holder used to be. Um, feeds back around here, you've got uh, this this plate here, which is responsible for basically keeping everything in in check, it attaches to where the power string used to be, or the sorry, where the alternator used to be, um, down here, and then you've got attachment points to the um, thermostat housing up top. Uh, this plate here is reinforced again from the power string here. You've got a L bracket which would be reinforced with a welded piece across here. I just haven't put it in. Um, simple tensioner. Uh, bracket which attaches to where the alternator used to be up here and down here so this is where the adjustment for the alternator is and this is where the it attaches to like the aluminium bracketry down here the power steering is actually below it somewhere here um, and then if I add on a couple of things here you've got your adjustment plates that let you move the supercharger back and forth 
and you've got our charge area that takes the charge from the supercharger, so it's pointing towards the engine. Um, and on top of that, you've got the supercharger base plate, which supercharger goes on top of that. You've got countersunk, countersunk screws here, so you can be flush. And if I get a mock-up of a supercharger that isn't actually the M90 that we use, it's just some random M90, that's kind of what it would look like. But the actual M90 that we use is a slightly bigger. Uh, that's pretty much it. Fuck it, it's good enough.